public speaking fear uh, fear of being laughed at mocked at fear of uh, not being taken seriously um, fear of all insects bugs reptiles <laughs> i have i have a fear of a lot of things <laughs> um, Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Just Go with Amreen. Uh, today's vlog is very different. We are having a Q&A. So I have had a ton of questions from you guys, so today I'll be answering all of them. I have to pick up some things for tomorrow's shoot and then I have some errands to run and then I'm headed home. So we'll be dividing these questions in different locations. So I'm starting with my car since I have to leave very soon, so let's get started right away. change the format of my vlogs a little bit um, I was starting to think that I'm doing a Q&A so that you guys could get to know me better but there's no way that I'm getting to know my audience better so I wanted to make it a little interactive from now onwards every single vlog there will be a question that I will throw out to my audience and I want you guys to please answer that very simple question for this vlog first question for my audience is please tell me where are you from and where do you live? I'm from India and I live in Dubai. This is where I grew up. Dubai is my home. So that's me and now you go next. All right, so starting with my Q&A, first question is from Nasreen Nosin. Uh, he asks, what motivated you to start a YouTube channel and what keeps you motivated to upload videos? You, there's something you should know about me is that I follow my gut a lot. Um, and back in 2019, I had a life altering feeling. I think um, when I went to Nepal, it changed my life. It changed the way I think. It changed. It it just confirmed what I always knew. You know that I want to travel and this is all I want to do and I didn't know how to take that forward when I started the channel I had no idea all I knew were few vloggers were doing this I loved their style and I felt I wanted to do the same thing I wanted to travel I wanted to share my experiences with everybody and it's a growing it's a learning experience so as I kept doing it um, thanks to your feedback uh, all of you out there I got suggestions on how to improve I stayed motivated because of you guys um, I could have stopped doing this long ago because it's not easy starting from zero subscribers and not seeing a growth on a weekly basis you know you don't even gain 10 in a week it's just sometimes disheartening I know so uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is what keeps me motivated is you guys your comments and um, what got me started in the first place is I got inspired from other vloggers and I thought I could do it too. How hard can it be? Well, my next question is from Imran. Uh, he's from Train Tough 365 He's a personal trainer and he asks, what's my favorite holiday? Is it a beach, a mountain or a city? Well, Imran, I grew up in the city, so I'm a city girl, I guess, but uh, when I travel, I either like to go to a beach or a mountain and if I have to choose, it's a very difficult choice to make to be very honest. Um, but if I have to choose, I would choose mountains and I would choose snow mountains to be specific. I grew up in Dubai which is burning, scorching hot. I love the winter and I love the snow. So yeah, I think I'm a mountain person. I would, I would, uh, I would say that mountain destination. I hope that answers your question. Alright, so 
I have to take this third question uh, in the car and then I have to head to the office. I have some stuff to pick up and I'll continue answering questions there. All right. So, but before I go, um, third question from Nadia Khan and she asks, if you could live anywhere, where would it be? So I would not like to just stay in one place all my life, right? So I would like to move a little bit. Um, I haven't yet. So I want to move. I want to try living in different places. Um, I can't pick one. I'm sorry. Okay. But if I have to retire somewhere, it is going to be New Zealand. Period. But if I have to live, um, uh, try living in another country, I think Italy. I really want to live in Italy. After having lived in a city for all my life, I think that would be a nice change, a nice turnaround to live in a small little town in Italy. Yeah, I see myself there. All right, so uh, yes, now I'm done with my work in the office. Uh, so let's get straight to the Q&A again. So number four is a question from Jamie Kauai. I hope I didn't butcher your last name. I'm sorry if I did. Um, and he asks, what is your most favorite and least favorite thing about living in Dubai? Okay, that one's easy. My, let's start with least favorite because that's just one. <laughs> and if you've been watching my vlogs all throughout this um, summer, uh, you've heard me say this a lot. It's so hot, it's so hot, it's so hot. Oh my god. Oh my god, I have no oxygen. My god, these masks and I'm hot. It's like 100 degrees. It's 1 p.m. And if you can't see, I am sweating. <laughs> so clearly, it's the heat, it's the summer that I absolutely dislike about Dubai. It's my least favorite thing. My most favorite thing are two things. I can't pick one. One, number one is safety. Uh, safety in general but also specific to women. I love that about Dubai. I'm quite blessed to have grown up in Dubai. I'm very, uh, how do you say this? Dubai has spoiled me, has really protected me. And I like that, I like that. Um, and so I, I feel very blessed and protected in Dubai. Another thing that I love, the, love about Dubai, I cannot leave this out because it is the most amazing thing about Dubai. And this is the, one of the things that draws people to Dubai, so I cannot leave this out because I love it, that it is ever growing. You can, it never stops, it never sleeps, it never stops, it never stops growing. Uh, they're always making the city a better place to live in, to visit, to work in. They're always upgrading it. That's the way to put it. Dubai is always upgrading itself. All right, moving along. Number five is by Mary Adeline, what is your best travel experience so far and why do you think it is the best? Okay, it's very hard <laughs> to answer this question because I have a top five. I have South Africa, I have Poland, I have New Zealand, I have Vietnam and Nepal, of course. So it's very difficult to answer this question. My, if I have to pick one, then it'll have to be Vietnam. Um, I went to Vietnam uh, I think three years ago and it was for three weeks and I think it was not enough so you ask me why so three things contribute to that one is food one is uh, second is people and three is um, affordability and all these three boxes are checked in in Vietnam so this is why I would say uh, Vietnam is my favorite and I would go back there again and again there is just so much to see that place is vast you know, and we probably just barely scratched the surface, honestly speaking. Question number six is, okay, the account says PPS. Is that code for something? Anyway, <laughs> PPS asks, what is your biggest fear? I am fearful of everything. I'm fearful of putting myself out there. You know, um, I have fear of, Public speaking, oh my god, it just scares me to death. <laughs> um, public speaking fear, uh, fear of being laughed at, mocked at, fear of uh, not being taken seriously. 
um, fear of all insects, bugs, reptiles. All, all my fears are so high in vibration, so intense that I cannot pick a winner. But I can talk about my phobia. I have one. Uh, it took a while for me to figure out what I actually was scared of and when I did, I looked it up and I tried to find if it actually has a name and does anybody else suffer from this. So it has a name, it's called bathophobia. It's a fear of depths. Most people are fearful of heights. I am fearful of depths. Uh, this keeps me from doing a lot of things, especially adventure sports. There are a lot of hikes that I would really want to do. Um, but I can't. It's just, it's so scary. Like, I, I, it's the simplest and the easiest hikes. Like, like a 10 year old can do it literally. And I suffer. Like, I can't. I've done hikes uh, in South Africa. That was my first hike, I think. And uh, I did the lion's head hike. And that is so easy, actually. I mean, it's moderate. It's not easy, but it's moderate. Uh, you don't need exactly a high fitness level or anything for that. I was probably crying. I was, my hands were sweating. I was trembling from head to toe. Uh, my legs were shaking. Um, I was breathing feverishly, but I really wanted to do it. I was not willing to give up. I was on my all fours for 50% of the time. Uh, the guide was so understanding of my condition uh, and he held my hand throughout the way. Sometimes I lose against this fear, sometimes I win. Um, when I win, I hike. <laughs> um, I wish I would win more. But yes, it's, it's this. This is my biggest fear or phobia, you would say. A fear of depths. I fear falling to my death. Okay, question number seven. The Wandering Hermit. Oh, that's an interesting name. He asks, I want to know about the rules of drinking in the valley. Are drinks allowed or can be purchased in restaurants? Uh, let's uh, answer the second half uh, very quickly. Yes, drinks are allowed. Drinks are easily available in hotels and restaurants in Dubai. Like you can have as many drinks as you would like in, in a bar or a pub, in a restaurant or a hotel. To your heart's content, you can drink as much as you want, but you cannot actually take the bottle and walk out. You can't drink on the streets, obviously. For the drinking rules, uh, applicable to individuals, well, you have to be above 21 and you can drink. I did an alcohol vlog of you weeks ago, I will link that up and down <laughs> so you can see it. Uh, there are quite a few stores uh, in Dubai you can purchase alcohol from. Uh, if you're a tourist, um, you just need to take your passport and your tourist visa uh, and show it to them and they will issue a temporary permit for you and you can purchase alcohol. So there is no hard and fast like restriction on alcohol in Dubai. It's freely available. Drink away responsibly okay actually it's super late so I'm gonna continue this Q&A at home so see you guys in just a little bit so guys I hope you're enjoying this vlog and this little interview that I'm giving <laughs> uh, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you find any of my answers interesting and you can relate to them too or you have something to say about or comment about please go ahead and let me know. I would really like to get to know you more. All right, so uh, now that we are back home and I can be relaxed and continue our Q&A, um, I have last three questions to go. And the next one is from Shenaz Khan and she asks, what equipment do I use for blogging and what editing software uh, do I use to edit my vlogs? Okay, so as for vlogging equipment, I shoot 90% of my vlogs using my iPhone X and uh, I have the DJI gimbal I put it on that uh, and that is an excellent stabilizer one of the best investments I've made um, and another thing that I use is a Rode mic so in case you are looking to purchase or you're asking, looking for recommendations these these are my recommendations this is what I use the Rode mic I will link it below the DJI stabilizer uh, and I use uh, I use Sony 
uh, A6000 uh, right now and uh, for action I have a Sony action camera uh, which I use so I will put them all in the description box below in case you are looking to purchase any of them go ahead for photography and this vlog is being filmed on a Sony uh, A7 III right now and I'm using my Rode mic on this as well. What I edit my vlogs with, I uh, I use iMovie uh, which comes inbuilt in uh, Apple Macs right now. So that's a free software and I use that for now. Okay, so Faisal Hami asks, what makes you laugh the most? <laughs> okay, um, uh, my husband makes me laugh the most. And one of the times when I laugh the most is when I go over while I'm editing and I see the blunders, <laughs> the bloopers, <laughs> that definitely makes me laugh the most. Um, if you're talking about a TV show or something on like line that makes me laugh the most, uh, Friends. I think I've been watching Friends for the past 20 years, <laughs> continuously, almost every single day of my life. And yeah, it still makes me laugh. The last question of the Q&A is from Jojo's Cup of Mocha. Hmm, interesting. People have really cool names, huh? <laughs> of their channels. Cool. Alright, so last question is, what are your future plans for other vlogging locations after the pandemic? <sighs> That's a big one. So after the pandemic is over, now the good question is what does that even mean? Does that mean that the vaccine will be out and you know everybody will have it and all that? I believe the pandemic is here to stay for a while. Um, people will have to just learn to live with uh, the COVID-19 situation and how to uh, take precautions and how to you know be safe and not just for themselves but even for people around them. Um, and while that all that is happening, I'll be looking, I'm, I'm already looking at places that have these protocols, these safety measures in place. These are the kind of places that I will be looking at to visit, um, not after the pandemic, but well, when this situation is a bit contained all around the world, I would, I would not say after pandemic, I would say after the graph settles. Some of the places that I would like to visit are the ones that are actually taking all safety measures like Thailand I know is doing a very good job uh, in containing the virus. I really wanted to go to Japan in November. It was going to be my first solo trip ever and I really I still do have my heart set on that uh, but fingers crossed no idea. Um, nothing works out. Worse come worse. I have plans to take a road trip to Oman. I uh, have my itinerary ready. Just pack your bags and fill gas and go. I'm just waiting for that. I'm being a tourist in my own country as of now and I will encourage everyone to do the same. That is all from me. This is the end of my Q&A. If you guys liked this vlog, if you loved the answers, if they were to your heart's content, please go ahead, give me a big fat thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any of my upcoming vlogs so stay tuned lots of exciting stuff coming up on that note stay safe stay healthy take care guys bye good night see you next week i have to do like 10 times this before i actually get something right okay again So I'm back in the office and um, I'm back in the office. What was that? I mean, I'm in the office and I'm back with my answers. Okay. Um, all right. So here I am. Um, mm,